What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Gyro with Relish. Welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. In the last episode, we got to about right here, uh, trying to make our way toward Zora's Domain. Um, and in today's episode, we're going to continue our trek towards Zora's Domain. But before we do that, I want to actually check this thing out, because this is something that I didn't realize I could examine uh, a couple episodes ago. Uh, History of the Zora Part 1, The Eternal Zora's Domain, as told by King Dorifan, Dorifan, something like that. Uh, the rains have blessed Lanayru since ancient times with an abundance of pure, clean water. Seeking a bounty of such water, the Zora gathered there. Thus, as the legends go, the domain was born 10,000 years ago. Hmm. We've been seeing 10,000 years ago pop up in a lot of stuff recently. Uh, the, la the land was also rich in ore, and so a unique form of stone masonry was developed to create our new home. The domain is one giant sculpture, a feast of architecture that has drawn ad admirers the world over. A great domain will ever stand as a hallmark of the esteemed artists who made it, an eternal symbol of Zora pride. Interesting. 90% of that I didn't really understand other than there's a lot of rain, there's a lot of rock... Uh, we're going to build a home here, and we built a giant, beautiful statue that uh, is admired by all. That's that's pretty much what I got from that. Everything else is just kind of all uh, jibber-jabber, as far as I'm concerned. Oh god, he has a, a lightning bow. I'm going to poke you with my stick. You're going to drop your arrows. And I think some other stuff. Arrows, a little, a little horn. Um... Oh, he dropped the bow. Okay. Well, I already have a bunch of bows, so I don't really need that. Um, So something I want to bring up real quick is that we are not going to be doing the comment questions for the time being. Uh, this is kind of part of the whole uh, YouTube, FTC, COPPA, yada, yada, yada. You guys have already heard about all that. I made a video on it last week, uh, which if you haven't seen that, go ahead and check it out. Um... To kind of give a short explanation, also, the Blood Moon is coming. Um, I just kind of gave my kind of general thoughts on how I think, or what or what I think the uh, potential impact of the whole FTC thing could lead to. I'm not saying it will happen, uh, and I hope certainly that it doesn't happen. Um, but again, I'm just kind of like kind of listing off some general thoughts and kind of some concerns that I have. With that whole thing. Also, that is a lot of frogs. I think Frogger finally found his, uh... His home pond thing. Whatever. Um... But yeah, so... Uh, as a part of this whole kind of conundrum... You could say that. I'm not going to be... Uh, doing any more comment questions for the time being. Um... Probably once this whole thing kind of... Mellows out... I will probably go uh, go back to, or I, I might go back, I don't know. Um, again, we'll just have to see and kind of play this by ear. Um, but no comment questions for the time being. Uh, I apologize, but it's just kind of how... I just think it's it's just for the best. Um, also, yeah, like I said, Blood Moon coming this way. So that's going to be interesting. Also, oh, that is a, that is a long, fancy bridge. Also, I don't know why I've just been kind of running around in circles, but whatever. Luto's Crossing. Wow, Luto's Crossing just got really scary. This is the Bridge of Doom. I'm just kidding. Uh, I'm gonna step away for a moment. Let this kind of thing play out a little bit. I'm gonna go close my door. Alright, I'm back. It didn't really take probably all that long. Um, you might have heard like a door click or something. Uh, okay, cool. Blood Moon monsters are back. Great stuff. Um, I will have to say this is a very fancy looking bridge. Like, look at look at this bridge. Look how fancy it is. All blue in the night sky under the moon moonlight. Wow, that is a tiny, tiny moon. I, yeah, like, the moon was a lot closer like five seconds ago. It was big. It was red. It was scary. It's the source of my nightmares. But now it's all like, like it's it's all just tiny. Oh, it's now being... Okay, well, that's great. Thank you, Clouds, for making me look like a fool. Oh, it's saying, Hey, Link, look below, down here. Wait, down into the abyss of probable death? 
Apparently, yes. We're still pretty far off, my friend, but I was sure you'd be passing over this bridge. So I've been waiting for you. We'll be in George Lemay before you know it. In fact, I'm going to head that way too. I shall meet you there. Whoa, Link. Beware, warrior. A monster approaches from behind you. Oh, goody. A giant blue moblin. Just what I wanted to see in my life. Uh, okay, take an arrow to the face. As a matter of fact, I'll give you another arrow to the face. And maybe one more just for good measure. Oh, oops, I missed. Okay, that was not to the face. Oh, God. There we go. When in doubt, fire your arrows. That's what. That's pretty much what, what I've learned during this whole uh, Escalade. Not, or not Escalade. Uh, this whole adventure when dealing with enemies is just if you can't f beat them with a stick, shoot them in the face with an arrow. And if you don't have arrows, you. Excuse me. Uh, use your bombs. That's just. If you can't shoot them with, with an arrow, just blow them the heck up. Uh, okay, so we're getting a lot of. Wow, there are a lot of different mushrooms around here. Speaking of which, more Hylian shrooms. Bruly, I'm sorry, that is my dog scratching at uh, my door. He, I think I might have said this before. He doesn't like it when doors are closed. Like, he, he likes being able to access every room for whatever reason at all times, even though he might just lay in one room for, like, literally half the day. So, yeah, our dog is weird. Um, also, there's a deer. Oh, he's angry. That is an angry... Actually, that might be a she. That is an angry deer. But they... They just... Oh, nope. They... are Actually, is it going to run off the cliff? Did it just run off the cliff? Okay, no. It's it's down there doing deer things. Okay, well, never mind. I was really... <laughs> well, this is going to sound really bad. I was really hoping that the deer would just run off the cliff for no real reason that would have been kind of hilarious really morbid and really sad like that i won't deny um but i think just in terms of like just it being a video game that would have been kind of funny uh okay what's over here also we are completely straying off the path there's a tree there's a beautiful tree oh good lord okay yeah i'm gonna have to go that is a fox also what is all this over here it's all glowy and stuff. Oh, it's a lamp. Oh, is this another one of the... The Hylian... Or not Hylian. Zora history thingamathings. Uh, is, is this one part two? No, this is part six. Okay, what happened to the other... Two, three, four. What happened to the other... Wait. Yeah, four. What happened to the other four? Uh, Divine Beast of Aruda sold by King Dorfan. Uh, I'll be back in a moment. Can you? Okay, when the Divine Beast of Varuta was first discovered at Zora's domain, my daughter Mifa hurried to see it. Those present of the day had, say they saw an unusual sparkle of excitement in Mifa's normally calm eyes as she beheld Ruta. The princess spoke of the Divine Beast as she would a friend and was overjoyed when she was chosen to pilot Ruta. I thought nothing of it at the time, but given the events that followed, I now regret allowing this to happen. I have spent many long years consumed by guilt. My dearest wish is that her soul will know peace. I pray for it every day. Okay, well, this went from zero to a hundred. First, we're talking about uh, rain and ore and beautiful sculptures. And now we're going to, uh, I pray for the safety of my daughter because I don't know what happened to her. Also, she's piloting a, a giant machine. So, maybe if I... <laughs> Maybe if I had read parts 2 through 5, which again, I have no idea where they are, uh, th maybe this whole thing would make a little bit more sense. Just saying. Um, but we're going to go back on the path. Over this way. Where all the glowy lamps are. And uh, we're going to see what's up ahead. Yeah, there's, okay, well there's... Oh god. Hello. I've dealt with one of you, but before uh except he was an in an, an iceman uh but now you are looks like an electro man also al 
That really hurt. Uh... Yeah, it is really hard to kind of fight this guy. Oh, God, what is he doing? Oh, that looks bad. Oh, it's an electric choo-choo. Uh, can I... Do I have anything that is not? No, everything I have is made of metal. Okay, well, we're just going to... Oh, God. We're just going to shoot everything with an arrow. And, uh, pick up some yellow choo-choo jelly. I'll take that. Oh, God. All right, yeah, it is really hard to keep track of this guy. Because he keeps just going all over the place and then showing up in front of my face. Like, and I'm also wasting a lot of arrows trying to do this. Okay, there we go. I guess we get, what is this? Lightning rod. Uh, shoot balls of... I cannot speak. Electricity. Um, yeah, I kind of want to try that out. Because the ice rod was actually really good. So I'll drop that and I'll take this. And I will uh, read this thing. Hopefully, is this part two? No, this is something completely different. History of the Zora, Addendum 1. King Dorfan stands his ground. Around 100 years after King Dorfan ascended to the throne, a stray guardian crossed upland Zorana. What is... what? Wait, huh? What does that mean? Into our domain. The Guardian seemed unstoppable. Our beast soldier's uh, spears barely left a scratch on his metal hull. It was then that our King Dorfan, without a thought for his own safety, came out to face the Guardian himself. Supernatural strength. He lifted the Guardian and hurled it into a ravine. The impact of the fall left the Guardian in pieces and was never to trouble another Zor ever again. Citizens celebrated the king's valor. From then on, their trust and respect for him grew beyond compare. You can still see the scar he earned the day on his forehead, a token of his triumph. Okay. Interesting. So basically, a, a guy threw a thing. That's kind of what I'm understanding from that. Also, I want this apple. And what is this thing? Oh, it's a wooden shield. I don't want that. Uh, Traveler's Sword, that could be kind of... Actually, do I already have one of those? I know I have some sword. I have a Soldier's Claymore. Uh... Yeah, I guess it's weaker than what I guess I already have, so I don't really want it. Also, there is a Mighty Carp here, along with a Spear. And I guess there's a pot for cooking. If I had a fire around here, I could probably light that. Um... Yeah, I guess we'll just kind of leave all this stuff here. I don't really need... Actually, wait a second. Oh, I thought that was one of those uh, fish on a stick type of thing. But no. No fish on a stick. We'll just go down here. Actually, wait. No, this is... Okay, so this is a slight problem that I've been dealing with recently. I keep getting turned around because I guess I keep rotating the camera. And I think I'm going to go one way. Actually, you know, we're probably confused me. Which this would actually make a, a, a lot of sense. Was I was rotating the camera a lot, trying to f fight uh, Electro Wizrobe, whatever his name is. Um, so that's probably why I, I got turned around, which would make sense. But even still, uh, this is I think the second time, if not, probably does it happen more than than that. Uh, I've gotten turned around trying to find my way around. Also, I'm going to collect all the stuff that's up here. Or as much as I can. Okay, random rock. Just throw that down there. Wow, that rock went really far. A lot farther than it probably should have, but, you know, it's whatever. Also, is there, like, a thing? I feel like there's, there's a thing over here. Maybe? I mean, this is kind of like a mountain, and I've noticed recently that... The shrines tend to be around the mountains a little bit, um, but maybe I'm wrong. Then again, I guess it, I can't really climb up there because of all the rain, so no point in trying as of the current moment. Um, let's just kind of go back on the path. Oh, that was almost bad. Also, there was a mushroom up there. Kind of want it. Give me the mushroom. Thank you. 
Okay, back on the path. I keep I keep straying from the path that literally the game tells me, hey, go go this way. But there's just so much stuff. There's so much stuff everywhere, and I just want all the stuff. Is that... Does that make me greedy? I think that actually does make me greedy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for being greedy, but I like vegetables and weaponry to defend myself and to heal myself. Speaking of defending myself, there's a moblin over there, and I'm going to shoot him in the face with an arrow. I missed. There we go. And hold on, just like stand still for like. Okay, well that works. Uh, do they have a spear? He has a moblin, a moblin spear. Okay, I don't really want that. Uh, what do we got over here? Trees. Okay, more trees. We got something over here. Okay, some moblin stuff. The arrow I accidentally missed shot. We have a rock I can throw over there for no reason. Uh, what time are we? Oh, we're actually already at 17 minutes. Um, yeah, I guess I can, again, make this like another 20 or so minute episode. Uh, it's not a huge deal. Um, but I think we are actually getting pretty close. Oh, there's a lot of wildlife right here. Did, was not expecting that. Um, there's a silence room. I guess I'll take that. I'll also take those frame or frames dropping. Uh, okay, another moblin. Um, yeah, I got plenty of arrows. Shoot you in the face. There we go. Pff, okay, we're just kind of sliding along the ground. Uh, take that. So I guess something that I can also mention really briefly is that I've been playing uh, Pokemon Shield a lot recently. Um, and it is a lot of fun. I highly recommend you play it. Uh, even if you've never played a Pokemon game before, definitely give it a try. Um, I mean, I can't say Pokemon is a game for everyone, uh, despite its, its rating, which I'm pretty sure it is for everyone. Or that his rating is everyone, but uh, regardless, um, like if 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 you're a fan of if if you're a fan of Pokemon, definitely play the game. It's a lot of fun. They've definitely improved a lot of things, and they've also just made the game look absolutely beautiful. Like I know some people were saying, like oh, like the game doesn't like look good, or like the game, uh. Or, like, like, there are, like, some graphical errors with the game or whatever, but... On, like, as far as I can tell, like, there's really no problems with the game whatsoever. Like, I I have, I think, seen, like, a couple moments where for, like, half a second... Like, the the menu during, like, the like battles will kind of, like, glitch out. But again, like, it's for, like, just, like, like two or three frames. So I'm, like, I, I'm not gonna, like, you know, make really a, a, a any sort of deal out of that whatsoever um but i think this is actually a pretty good place to stop because this looks like a super fancy bridge leading to super fancy town uh while i carry the super fancy spear anyway i have been driving why do i always have a, such a hard time saying this i have been driver with relish thank you all so much for watching uh my dog keeps going in and out of my room for some reason i don't know why Bruley, would you tell us why Okay, he wants something, but I, I don't know what. What is it, buddy? What's going on? Hmm? Anyway, I have been Jarro with Relish. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next episode. Also, I apologize if you hear or have heard shows in the background. That is not me. Um, but then again, like I said, I can't have the door closed because my dog freaks out. So, yeah, this is going to be interesting. Um, anyway... See you next episode, everyone.